<laughs> Here I come. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Adam's done a very careful job of replicating what we saw in the photos. But the thing is that he's a good 50 pounds heavier than the woman we saw floating on that bike in the water. I step into this bathroom, an ordinary Mythbuster. And so what that means in terms of how deep the uh, paddles on the wheel go and balance issues, just because she floated on it doesn't mean that he's going to be able to. I come out, super amphibious vehicle commuter Mythbuster. So just to recap, if what is claimed in the pictures is true, this thing ought to be able to float, hold me up, move me forward on the paddles, and be able to steer all while keeping me relatively dry. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Amphibious bike in three, two, one, go. Uh, OK, it's holding me up. Oh, oh, OK, here we go. Wow. Hey, that's not bad. OK, steering, trying to steer. Hey, steering's not bad. Apart from some soggy shoes, it's a decent enough start. But then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Now I've got a little chain problem, which I've got to fix on the bike. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, hey. oh, 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 <laughs> Fixing this chain slip in situ <laughs> is no mean feat. But Adam bends over backwards. Yep. <laughs> OK. Here we go. Huh. And soon, he's riding high. Hey, this is great. Dude, I'm on an amphibious bike. Yeah, I'm going to go in a circle. Here we go. Not exactly a tight circle, but pretty reasonable. That seems like it's working really well. Remarkably, the bike's not only buoyant, it's also got good speed and steering. I'm ready for my first day on the job. At least so far. Oh!